Hey guys, what's up and welcome to LWP MC. So today we're going to be taking a look at a plugin called Skins Restorer. It is the only one of its kind. It has over 6 million downloads on Spigot MC Marketplace and it can change, set, and restore skins on cracked servers and online servers as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. This video is sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop intended to make finding the ideal plugins for your Minecraft server simply. They uphold reasonable and just business practices by acknowledging client and creator feedback and are continually improving their platform. Make sure you guys check them out with the links below to find unique plugins for your Minecraft server. Okay, so uh, today we are going to be taking... All right, so let's hop right in. The main command is slash skin, which will give us the entire page of commands uh, like so. So if we do slash skin set, actually, uh, let me get our alt here. Okay, so now that my alt is here, uh, let's go ahead and do skin set as the first one and I have nicked my alt as LWP awesome for the purposes of this video. Um, so skin set LWP awesome as the specific player skin like underscore LWP like me or the specific URL of a skin. We'll be taking a look at both of those. So let's go ahead and let's set it to King Bees. And as you can see, he turns into King Bees skin right here. So the next command, of course, would be to set it as a URL. So let me go ahead and grab a URL. Okay, so now that I have my specific URL I want to use, I will just set it to the Steve, which is basic, so you don't have to do anything if you're doing a four pixel arm length. And then it has set to this specific skin right here, which is super, super cool. I just wanted to mention that any skin changes also change in the tab list as well, which is really, really awesome how they've done that. It's actually like changing your skin in Minecraft, except it's only on the specific server. So if we get back our um, help menu up here, then um, the second command is the basically the exact same as the first. It just gives a more detailed view. And you can do slash skin help with a specific command like skin help update. And it will give you information on that specifically. All right, if we were to do skin clear for alt, then it just goes back to the default Minecraft skin because that is our player's skin. Um, just like that. Okay, so that is it for the basic commands. Now let's move on to the admin commands. So this is all of the admin commands. Um, so the first one would be SR drop for a specific skin or a specific player. So if we do skin and then um, and our alt here and then uh, we can also add a second target as well. Then it will drop the skin data for the alt just like that. Now we can also do player instead of skin. And it will drop the player data. So if this specific player was to log out and log back in, then the skin data would be reset. So the next command we're going to be taking a look at is sr create custom and then the skin name. So let's just call it cool.png and then the skin URL. If we were to do skin set 
and then cool.png, then it would change it back to this like so. The next command we're going to take a look at is sr props and then let's see our alt account just like that. And as we can see, it will tell us the request time, the UUID, the name of the specific skin, and the texture of the skin. And it will give us more information in the console. So let's switch over there really quickly and also go ahead and check out the con. I use Solnode to host all of my Minecraft servers. They're affordable, fast, and reliable. It has cheap plans, to customize your to your liking it has super fast connection speeds and it is very reliable with almost a 100% uptime over the course of the past year or so so you guys should definitely go check out Solnode using the links below in the description box and whenever you guys buy something from Solnode I get 15% of that commission uh, if you use my affiliate link, so please go click on the links below and get a server from Solnode. So, um, in the config, it gives us the name of the skin, and that is just the specific skin that we set, the value of it for the for skin restorer, and the signature of the skin as well. And it also gives us the value completely decoded for skin restorer as well. You really don't need to worry about that unless you're trying to do something very fancy and developer-like uh, with the skin. Okay, so let's check out the configuration. And if we go into our plugins folder here, and we go to our skins restore, then we click uh, the config.yml here. And, um, you, if you want to set permissions up so that um, you, they don't need to have the specific permission to change their skin, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to leave that as it is because I want people to be able to change their skin. Okay, so it will say if they do not have the permission skin restore or bypass cooldown, then the change cooldown will be like this and skin error cooldown will be five seconds. Um, enable custom help. Uh, we're not going to do that because that would uh, enable us to make a custom help message which we are fine with the one it is. And disable prefix false. We want to keep our prefixes the same. Okay so the disabled skins um, are the names right here. If we wanted to disable a certain skin, we would just enable this to true. So I'm gonna do that and try to set our name to Steve. Um, custom GUI, we are also not going to do that because uh, it would enable us to make a custom GUI. So it says below config options are optional and irrelevant for small servers. If you are running a small server, like I am, then you will not need to mess with any of these settings um, in the entire config. So there are just a few small settings in the configuration that you can change if you would like to. And that's basically just customizing the menus and if you want to disable certain skins and things like that, you can as well. But that is pretty much it for the config, so let's head back to the game. Okay, so now that our now that we have changed some things in the config, so if we do slash sr reload, then it will reload the config. So let's try to set our skin. Uh, let's do skin set our alt to Steve. and we should not be able to do it. As you can see, we are not able to do it because, um, we are not able to do it because we've enabled that specific one. So that is pretty much it for the Skins Restore plugin. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.